thought to myself that there's some kids out there that have the same problem as me. And I thought it was a really good idea of her putting me to work and finding me things where I could actually learn how to get along with other people. That's what makes it special. When I heard those words, the journey is special. Well, this is indeed, thank you very much, Barry, for having me on your show. It, it definitely is a beautiful journey. Soy Monica Garcia, Presidenta de la Junta Escolar. Bienvenidos al programa La Familia Importa. Están conmigo mis colegas María Casillas, la Directora General de Servicios para los Padres y la Comunidad, y Nuri Martínez, miembro de la Junta Escolar. I'm John Daisy, Superintendent of Schools here in Los Angeles. And today we're going to be discussing one of the critical issues facing educators in the 21st century, and that is the proper role of technology in the classroom. Hello, I'm Tony Cox. For the next half hour, we're going to do what any parent would do, given the chance. We're going to talk about the choices you have in the education of your children. All of these choices are available in the Los Angeles Unified School District. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the new school year and the superintendent's annual meeting for administrators. My name is Jorge Briseño. I'm the director of instructional television for KLCS TV. Bienvenido on the Nuevo Ano. <laughs> Julian, thank you for the courage. Welcome back to another opportunity to change lives for the better. I am so hopeful and excited and proud to be with you this morning. And how did this come to El Sereno? I mean, this idea that this feeder pattern, Wilson has been doing so well, many I things. I think there were some ideas that were being generated by the district in terms of reform efforts. And so we had heard about the International Baccalaureate Program actually from our uh, now um, Educational Service Center East uh, superintendent. On October 16th, LAUSD School Board member Tamar Gallatin held a town hall meeting at Cleveland High School to discuss the impact of Propositions 30 and 38. If you're eligible to vote and you don't vote, you're part of the problem. Most significantly in LAUSD, these would be programs, these would be budgetary cuts directly aimed at poor children. The campus to be safe after school. It hurts me to see that uh, we put locks on the gates now to keep the kids out of the campuses when, the, when school isn't in session. We really need to bring back the youth services and the beyond the bell. That's what they see and um, I had gotten excited about all of the good things that were up here. What has been presented to you here on this board? What is the best thing? Not just for today, but for our kids in the future. Mr. Superintendent, I appreciate you and your staff because you've kept the body whole. I consider preschool the feet, and I consider adult school the head. We've had to take some scars and carve out a little bit, but we've kept the body whole. Meeting at Sheridan Elementary at Eastman Elementary where third graders were rewarded for their hard work with school supplies, a lot of energy, a little pep rally about getting to graduate. 130 students from 11 schools across Los Angeles County competed in six ballroom dances for the fall 2012 Colors of the Rainbow team match. Fifth graders learned to merengue, rumba, foxtrot, waltz, tango, event, uh, we come together to celebrate the Good Food uh, Day in LA, and we're here at Cardenas Elementary School with board member Martinez, where she's launching her new resolution, and we have our students here, our culinary arts students, serving us today as we celebrate the importance of eating healthy. The administration has spent the last three weeks preparing uh, two sets of scenarios for the board because we've scheduled an emergency meeting right after the election because the board's going to have to take action. Welcome to the 11th episode of The Teacher's Hour, a show that's made for you, an educational series designed and created to support the teacher in the classroom. I think student engagement is also very important and when you take away some of that fun fiction that my concern is we're going to lose some of that student engagement. So stay ahead of the curve. Follow us on Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter at LA Schools and on our new district blog, LAUSD.tumblr. Tell us, what do you think this means to kids or parents? 
Well, I think the, the important thing that the district has done is provided a tool for the site administrator, for the teachers, the parents, and also like for example people like me who supervise schools. On this episode of Between the Lines, you'll see how the ultimate power of mastery is within your reach when you meet Robert Greene. With his book, Mastery, Robert unlocks the passions within us to guide all of us on a path to becoming a master. <laughs>